Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on the musical typing keyboard. So if you are new to Logic and you're new to recording and you want to take advantage of all the virtual instruments and software synthesizers that come with Logic, but you don't yet have a MIDI keyboard, this is one of the coolest things built into Logic that will allow you to do just that without having to get a keyboard. So first of all, you'll need to have a software instrument track instantiated in the project. I just created a new project with a software instrument track and it brought up the classic electric piano track one classic electric piano group as it always does when you create a new software instrument track in logic by default so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to open the virtual type in piano the virtual musical type in keyboard and the key command to do that is command k so if i press command k musical typing classic electric piano dialogue you hear it says musical type in and now the way this works is your home row keys, A, S, D, F, that is basically your white keys on the keyboard and it starts at middle C. And then if you go up to the row above that, so W, E, et cetera, et cetera, that is gonna be your black keys on the keyboard. And now, because we're doing C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E. If you know anything about music theory, you know that E to F, there's no sharp or flat there. So the R key that would have been E sharp because that's not being used for anything, that R key will still allow you to start recording. The Q key, because we started on C, and once again, what's below C is B, there's no sharp or flats there. The Q key will also allow us to quantize. So we can use R to start recording, the spacebar will still stop recording and we can use Q to quantize after we've stopped recording as well. The other things to note is that the X and Z key will take you up an octave or down an octave respectively. So right now we're at middle C and if I hit the Z key, I'll go down, go down an octave. If I hit the X key, um, back up an octave. So let's record something quickly with this and then we'll play around with some of the other features of the musical typing keyboard. So I'm just gonna press R. By default, Logic will count me in for one measure and then I'll go ahead and play something and then we'll play around with some of the other features found on the musical typing keyboard. All right, so here we go. Four bars, three beats, four divisions, 22 ticks. All right, so just recorded that and I hit space. So now I'm gonna hit bass again to play. Four bars, three All right, so there we have it. I'm just gonna hit return, take one bar, one beat, one division, one tick. to the beginning of the project there. And now what I'm gonna do is hit Q to quantize. Quantize selected Regin cells events. Two bars, four beats. And there we have it. So now, in addition to all that, the tab key will act as your sustain pedal. And so if I hit record to start recording again, and I hold down the tab key on certain notes, it will act as if I'm holding down the sustain pedal. So even if you can't hold down the tab key while playing it in, you can record again and hold down the tab key when you want notes to sustain. And that frees you up from trying to do it, like I said, while recording initially. And that's the nice thing about MIDI tracks in Logic, they're set to merge by default. So you can just merge new data in each time you do a pass while you're recording. So I'm gonna hit record and then I'll use the tab key to sustain certain notes. Six bars, one beat, four division. All right, so now if I hit space to play this. Five bars, three. You see I was able to sustain the notes there. Now the other thing you can do is you can also use the numbers one and two on a number row as your pitch bend, pitch bend down and pitch bend up respectively. So if I play this. Two bars, four beats, four divisions, 34 And tenths. once again, you can record this in after the fact as well. So if I hit R to start recording. Four bars, four beats, four divisions, 20. And I can play that back. Five 
four bars, three And obviously that doesn't sound very good, but that's just more to make the point that you have the option of using one and two as your pitch bend wheel. And then you also have the mod wheel and four to eight will modulate and then you can use a number three to turn the mod on or off. So play this again. Five bars, one B2 division. And you just heard me hitting different numbers on the modulation there while that was playing back. And then once again, you can use the number three to turn it off. And as I demonstrated before, you can play those in after the fact. Once you got it recorded, you can hit R to record and then add the modulation after the fact as well. So that was a quick overview of how you can use musical typing keyboard to get parts down and recorded. If you don't have your MIDI keyboard handy or you just don't have a MIDI keyboard yet, you can still get started using a lot of the sounds and tools built into Logic. That's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for checking this out. If you'd like to support the channel, you can do so by making a donation at paypal.me slash logic.band, link in the description below. You can also get some one-on-one -on -one training if you want to dive deep in any of these topics surrounding Logic or if you're new to Mac and want to get up to speed with voiceover. You can visit logic.band slash training for some one-on-one -on -one tutorials and once again there is a link to that in the description below also don't forget to check the description below for a link to relevant tutorials here on youtube and or to the blog on logic.band that has some supplemental information for this tutorial hope you found that useful and helpful please feel free to like and subscribe and share this with someone you know who's new to logic and voiceover as always everyone until next time happy recording